William the Conqueror had men of diverse standing and origins under his command at the Battle of Hastings in 1066, along with others completing his Norman conquest of England until after the harrying of the North and before the anarchy. The term, Companions of the Conqueror, in the widest sense signifies those who planned, organized and joined with William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, in the Great Adventure, which was the Norman conquest of England. The term is however more narrowly defined as those nobles who actually fought with Duke William in the Battle of Hastings. This article is concerned with the latter narrow definition. Proof versus legend. Many ancient English families of Norman origin have claimed amongst their ancestors a participant at the Battle of Hastings as a matter of great pride giving them legitimacy in the higher echelons of the British aristocracy. The large majority of these claims are based on legend and cannot be proven by historical evidence. Many hundreds of Norman, Breton, Flemish and other nobles of varying degrees certainly fought with the Duke at Hastings. Yet the fact remains that the names of only 15 of these are recorded in contemporary historical sources considered to be unimpeachable. This very select group is therefore known as the Proven Companions, as distinct from the several hundred, likely, probable, or, possible, companions. Many lists and roles of so-called companions have been drawn up over the ages, and continue so to be. Yet the three unimpeachable sources remain as follows. List of 15 proven companions. Robert de Beaumont, 1st Earl of Leicester, a certain Norman, Robert, son of Roger of Beaumont, being nephew and heir to Henry, Count of Mulan, through Henry's sister Adeline, found himself that day in battle for the first time. He was as yet but a young man and he performed feats of valour worthy of perpetual remembrance. At the head of a troop which he commanded on the right wing he attacked with the utmost bravery and success, Eustace II, Count of Boulogne. With a harsh voice he called to Eustace of Boulogne, who with fifty knights was turning in flight and was about to give the signal for retreat. This man came up to the duke and said in his ear that he ought to retire since he would court death if he went forward. But at the very moment when he uttered the words Eustace was struck between the shoulders with such force that blood gushed out from his mouth and nose and half dead he only made his escape with the aid of his followers William, Count of Evro. There were present in this battle, Eustace, Count of Boulogne, William, son of Richard, Count of Evro, Geoffrey, son of Rotru, Count of Mortagna, William Fitzusban, Hamo, Vicomte of Thowers, Walter Gifford, Hugh of Montfort sur Isle, Rodulf of Tosny, Hugh of Grant Mesnil, William of Warren, and many other most renowned warriors whose names are worthy to be commemorated in histories among the bravest soldiers of all time, Geoffrey of Mortagna, Count of Mortagna and Lord of Nogent, later Count of Percher. William Fitzusban, 1st Earl of Hereford, A. Mary, Viscount of Thowers. Walter Gifford, Lord of Longville, Hugh de Montfort, Lord of Montfort sur Isle, Ralph de Tosny, Lord of Conches, Hugh de Grand Mesnil, William de Warren, 1st Earl of Surrey, William Mallet, Lord of Gravel. His corpse was brought into the Duke's camp and William gave it for burial to William, surnamed Mallet, and not to Harold's mother who offered for the body of her beloved son its weight in gold, Oddo, Bishop of Bayer, later Earl of Kent. Hic Oddo E.P.'s bacula tenens conforted purus. Tustum Fitzrolf, Ingenuf de Lagel, the five additional names. These five were agreed upon by both David C. Douglas and Geoffrey H. White and are from the complete peerage XII1, Appendix L. Geoffrey de Mowbray, Bishop of Coutances. Robert, Count of Mortain, Waddard, believed to be a follower of the Bishop of Bayer, Vital, believed to be a follower of the Bishop of Bayer, Gobert de Orfe, Seigneur of Ofe, since the time of these lists, F.A. Mason in the English Historical Review adds one additional name, Humphrey of Tilleul N.O.J.